What's going on YouTube? It is your man Cleveland Terry with not one, but two videos this week. Two! <sighs> Moving on up in the world. What's next? Three? Well, the only reason why I'm even talking about this is because we've got a lot of new products coming out from Serato. Yesterday I talked about the Serato SoundCloud Go Plus streaming mixing and what I felt about that. Today we're gonna talk about Serato Play, which is their offline system for DJ, which means you don't need to use a mixer anymore. You don't need you don't need a controller, you don't need a mixer, you can do everything from in the box. So we're gonna take a look at it right now. Check it out. So here you can see I've loaded up two tracks. I've got questions here, I've got Machika here, and I'm gonna set up the sync because we want it to sync up. We're gonna move this crossfader so it's only playing one side of the track. I can hit my keyboard cue points here and I can play all this as much as I want. We're gonna hit play. Now, we have it synced up so we can play both sides, but I can keep messing around with it. I can go back again like this, go right to the chorus, or the hook anyway, or the verse. And then, and then what I can do is, I can go over to my other channel. I'm gonna get that started. Same thing with the cues. Same thing. I can adjust the speed if one is off. Let's say I come in early. I can speed it up, as you can see from here. Uh-oh, I'm off, so let's get it back. Just really, really easy. And then, what else I can do, which is really cool, is I can throw my loops on, like so. I can do the other one too. And I can do this as much as I want. Hit the loop out again. And I'm right back to the track. All from my keyboard, all offline. And then, let's say I had some video stuff that I was doing. Well, I can just click on the video and I got video stuff playing right here. With hotkeys, I can speed up, I can slow down, I can do the break effect, I can do everything. But wait, what well, What else can I do? Well, I got the loops going, I got the crossfader, I got the sync button, I got the video player. Also, if you want to use your SoundCloud songs from SoundCloud, SoundCloud Go, Go, well, guess what? That's available too. Let's check it out. Tribe Called Quest. Let's go here. And let's play. Hey, look, it works in offline mode. So it's giving you everything that you need. I think we have the perfect system. I got the player, I got the crossfader, I got the sync button, I got all my video stuff. What else would I need? Oh, you know what? Flip, Serato Flip. I need to have Flip in here. Let's, hey look, there's Flip right there, right there. So let's uh, let's record some flips. The record button, it actually works. All right, this is the best thing I've ever seen. So uh, right now, you can buy this, right now, for only $39. $39, is that a good price? Well, for what you're getting, offline access, the, the ability to be able to mix on the fly. I mean, what else do you need? I think you should buy this. Except, this is in Serato Play. This is the offline mode in Serato DJ Pro. When they came out with Serato DJ Pro, this was a feature that was added on. So, 
what more can you get from Serato Play that isn't already in Serato DJ Pro? Well, there's several things that it includes in the update that aren't in the offline mode. First off, you have the ability to use your effects. So you can use your effects, as you can see here, there are no effects anywhere in this system. If you wanted to be able to use filters, so in the case where you want to use a high pass filter, well, we don't have access to that anywhere in the system. Serato Play gives you access to the filters and it gives you split cues. So while you're DJing, you can hear music in the left side and the right side of your mix, which will help you obviously mix. But is it an option? Because if it has split cue and you're going out of your headphone jack, then you lose the ability to do split cue because you still can't monitor the mix. Besides that, there's not much different from this system to the other one. So the question is, who is this system for? Because I don't know too many DJs that are trying to mix in the box. So if you're trying to do your mixtapes and you want to do it from, from the comfort of your couch, well then I guess this is who it's for. What I did notice, which was very odd, and I think this was a bad idea, they actually created a new set of hotkeys for Serato Play. And they changed the keyboard commands from Serato DJ. So the normal commands that you would normally use, they've moved around. That's a bad idea. Why would you change something that DJs have been using for years? If the system did go down and we had to actually use this as an emergency tool, you've changed the way we use the, the keys. So now the keyboard shortcuts that we used to use, we, we're gonna screw up because I see nudge, I see sync, sync in, sync out, I see a tempo, I see a nudge. The nudge and the tempo are now on the same keys and you have to hit the alt button to use the tempo versus the nudge where originally the nudge was like a T and Y and then the tempo was, was E and R. And then same thing for the track down. I don't know why they would change that. I'm a little confused at that. I just think that was a, just a bad judgment call unless they plan on changing the entire keyboard layout. It should be uniform. It really should be. So the only thing you're getting from this is the ability to use EQs and record your mix. That's it. $40. So the ability to use EQ, uh, $20. The ability to record your mix, another $20. Everything else is already on here. Is it worth $40? Well, it's gonna be worth $40 to me because as a DJ tech YouTuber, I gotta buy this thing to test it out. I think um, the ability to record your mixes, sure, that's convenient. Although I don't know too many people that are gonna use it, specifically because you can't MIDI map the keys. You are forced to use the keypad. So if you wanted to throw just a couple of, you know, rolling knobs into them into the USB, you can't use the EQs that way. It has to be from the keyboard. That's that's kind of an oversight in my opinion. And also, if you are using uh, any of the streaming sites, you can't record streaming songs. I just learned that, by the way, after I after I did my video, I found out that is if you are trying to record, if you try to load up a song while you're recording in Toronto, it tells you you can't do it. It tells you to stop recording in order to load the song. So that means that on a normal DJ gig, if you wanted to record your set, you got to stay away from all the streaming services. Therefore, you're limiting how we use the streaming service. Hence, it becomes a waste of a streaming service. So it's kind of pointless. If I can't record everything I'm using, then I don't want it because I just don't want that to have to deal with the fact that I'm, I'm doing something and now I can't do it because of some strange limitation you put on the system. I get why you're doing it. It's streaming. You don't want people stealing your music. You want them to stream. But as a DJ, as I'm paying for this service, I should be able to record a mix using 
the music that you provide, because I'm playing it out for everybody anyway, I should be able to record that mix. I'm not selling the music. There's always ways to get the music out of SoundCloud, out of Serato, out of YouTube. So that shouldn't be the reason that you're gonna limit a DJ from doing his job. Okay, that's a tangent. We're not gonna we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go back to Serato Play, this amazing piece of software. If all you're trying to do is create some mixes. Let me back up. If all you're trying to do is listen to new music, kind of get your lines together, get your mixes lined up where you want them to go, then you don't need Serato Play. You can do pretty much everything in the box. The only thing you can't do in the box compared to Serato Play is you can't record your sets, you can't use the effects and the EQs. But for the most part, if you are trying to use it, and most people will only use it in a very, very emergency type situation. They don't care if the EQ works or not. You know, you're working with keyboards. You're not trying to like get into the minutia of, oh, hold on, I gotta throw my filter at it. Nobody's doing anything like that, okay? They're mixing in, they're mixing out, and they're getting out. Is it worth it? Um, if you already have the Serato Suite and you bought it and you get it for free, it's worth it. If you are a, I don't even know. If you are a bedroom DJ, see, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to figure out reasons why you would need to buy it, but I can't because if you don't have a controller or don't have an S9 or a, a rain mixer, that means you don't have the software anywhere unless you went out and bought the software, okay? So if you bought the software without a plan on using it, then I guess it would work. They're not selling Serato Play without having Serato, so you still have to spend that 100 to $150 for the software. So I don't really know who it would be for. I know that it comes with EQ and gain features, but all that stuff is already in the system. If I load up two different tracks here, and let's say I do uh, Mejente. <laughs> That's not Mejente. Okay, and I'm running this, and I got Usher Yeah on the other side. As I fade over, I'm gonna make it sync up. Now, if I move over, as I move over to the other side, the volume on Mejente goes down anyway. So you can use that as a gain in the pinch, easily. And that problem solved. Yes, you're gonna be able to use your effects and hear how they sound and everything like that, but you're not gonna be able to use anything but the keyboard. So is it really helping you knowing that, you know, M gives you uh, effects parameters when you really need to know that channel three on your FX is actually where that effect is and this knob at nine o'clock gives you the effect that you want. That's far more important than knowing that your effect on M is kind of giving you what you need. So I, I am struggling with figuring out who this is for. Okay, obviously it's a cash grab because this functionality that they added to the system could have been there already. They could have set up this offline mode when they first came out with Serato DJ Pro, but they didn't. They decided we're gonna give them most of the functionality, but then the cool things uh, we are going to charge them for. So they are again charging you for something that you should already have. It should already be there. They're charging you for functionality. It's like Serato DJ Lite. Oh, you like what Serato DJ Lite has given you? Well, I know it's limited, but if you upgrade to Serato DJ Pro, well, you're gonna get all that functionality. That's the same thing they're doing with the offline mode. All they had to do was hit a couple of switches, and I guarantee you, this, this, all this would be accessible. But they don't want to do that because they need to make money because they're a software company. The problem is, this isn't how they've always run their business. They're changing the way they're doing their business. 
And while I can't fault them for doing the business the way they want to, I can fault them for nickel and diming us. And it feels like this right here is a nickel and dime. Honestly, it's something that should have just been included in the package. And most of it's already there. Also, the fact that you're advertising Tidal and you're advertising SoundCloud and you're advertising the ability to record, but nowhere in there does it say, but you can't record Tidal and SoundCloud music. You would think that would be maybe a little asterisk saying, hey, guy, by the way, guys, this doesn't work the way you think it should work. I don't know, just a thought. All right, guys, um, that's it for me. Short, short and sweet, hopefully. I don't know if it is or not until I edit it. Thank you guys for checking out my video. I know you have many, many choices out there, but you choose to come to mind. If you found what I said here useful and helpful, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. If you found what I said really helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, this is what I do. I review DJ and tech related gear and software and give my opinion on the products. I also do a day in the life and some tutorials also on the products. So. Um, Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button if uh, you want to see what I'm doing next time. I try to post once or twice a week. This is two times. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Twitter. All right, guys. Always a pleasure. And if I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.